In this video, we are going to work on reviving a dry erase marker um, and a highlighter. And I know at times those get dried up and they go to use them and it, you just, you hate it because uh, it just doesn't work well. So in this video, we're gonna try to revive each of these. All right, here we go. Here is this dry erase marker. And uh, we need to first go ahead and get the uh, the backing off of this. So we are going to use this. And every one of these comes off uh, kind of in a similar fashion, but uh, some are easier than others. This we're just going to pry off with this knife. And uh, we're really close there. We've got a lot of room. It's already coming up. We're going to go ahead and pull that off. There it is. And then on the inside, you'll see how there's this, this thing sticking in there. And uh, that is where uh, the ink is. And it gets all dried up. Okay, we also have this uh, Sharpie brand highlighter, and let's go ahead and see. It's it's working a little bit. It's just get, it's just kind of dry. You can see how it's just not doing all that good. It really wouldn't be that good for highlighting. And so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this one ready also to add some isopropyl alcohol. Now, getting this particular top off is a little more difficult because it's flush here at the end, and you actually have to go in and kind of pry it out like this it around and you'll see it pry up just like that starting to loosen up there we go awesome awesome so that comes right off and again very similar to the dry erase you see that uh, big old sponge looking filament in there element in there and so we're going to do the same thing here we're going to add our 20 drops uh, to this so let's go ahead and get started one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh, 11, 12, 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 we'll stop right there you see how that uh, did change that to be more of a white on the on that. It'll have to get mixed in, and uh, it's kind of washed that pink down just a hair. That's all it's done. I'm going to close this up and uh, shake it a little bit, kind of let it let it uh, just uh, work in to the dye of of the actual highlighter. Put that top back on. Give that a few minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back with the sharpie, and it was not as far gone as the dry erase marker. So let's see how this is doing. Ooh, look at that. And that absolutely has revived. And so our highlighter is back with just 20 drops of isopropyl alcohol. It is back in the game. And you're going to have to vary um, your solution just a little bit depending on how dry it is. I'm going to give the dry erase marker just a little more time and uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, we got the dry erase um, marker here and we've actually added a few more drops to it just to help it out a little bit. This thing was really, really dry, like hardly would do anything. And so it has gotten better, but it is not where it needs to be um, as of yet. And so that was really not a full success on the really, really dry, dry erase marker. But I'll tell you, this was absolutely the success it was a partially uh, wearing, well, it was wearing out uh, um, a highlighter, and it now, I mean, absolutely works wonderfully. And so that was 20 drops of 91% of isopropyl alcohol, and so that's that was it there. And uh, it uh, really did help revive this, uh, this Sharpie. All right, so a really good test there on the highlighter and dry erase marker. Dry erase wasn't quite the success as the highlighter. Highlighter, I think, because it wasn't as far gone as the dry erase. I'm gonna let this dry erase one sit uh, maybe overnight and try it again, just see if I can't get uh, all that to mix well and, and revive. But uh, absolutely, this is a, a this is something to try if, if you have a bunch of these instead of just throwing them out. Uh, try reviving them, get, give them some isopropyl alcohol and uh, see if that works for you.